audience, this is your host Cindy, and you are watching The Book Reviewer. I have another book review to share. So, um, this is something that, that I drew, um, actually yesterday. So, um, as you can see, I <laughs> am not very good at it, but I thought it was just a little bit of artwork to, um, keep this channel fresh and uh, kind of cool looking actually so um like I said excuse me um I have another book review to share and you will you will see the book review in a moment um let's get to it okay so yesterday um, I read a book, and this is from the library. Um, it's called A Good Horse by Jane Smiley. Now, I picked this up because it was interesting, um, and I love, um, animals, so it was <laughs> a good choice. Um, and I read it yesterday. Uh, thinking it would be something that was good and it was um, it is a story about a family um, the little girl's name is Abby and she lives on a ranch in California and she gets a colt for her birthday now all of you guys know that uh, a baby horse is called a colt I think when it's one or two years old and so nice present right so the colts and the horses from what I understand are pretty expensive so um, cool present so she um, gets to train the horse she gets to ride the horse in competitions which is really cool um, and, um, they get kind of buyers from the, for the horses and stuff like that. Just normal kind of trading and dealing and stuff like that. Um, I liked, I liked this book for what it was. Um, the good, the good things about this book, um, it's a book about animals and it's really, really informative. Um, it even shows through the text about kind of how to train horses, how to do different things. Like not moving when they get caught in a rope or things like that. Some people that are really into horses and training would appreciate. Um, this book was not what I expected. Um, the writer in me, I'm a writer by trade, and this book is written from, uh, the point of view of the little girl. And to all the writers out there, point of view is very, very important. It can make or break your story, almost. Um, the other animal books that I've read um, is the point of view of the animal itself which I think is pretty cool um, this was kind of a long read I think I finished it in two or three hours um, but I wasn't all that into it um, like I said this is a book for animal lovers and especially those that um, train horses and things like that some people that have horses as pets and and even working horses um, could benefit um, I wasn't a fan of how it was written um, it was very detailed for sure and I think the author was trying to kind of paint a picture of what the horse was doing and 
Um, there were a few pictures of kind of what equipment they were talking about, like the bridal and the, um, I don't quite remember what it was, the saddle, a saddle stick or something. I would have to look. Um, but it wasn't really many pictures at all, which I think would have helped figuring out where the uh, horse was and what it was doing. And who doesn't love animal pictures, right? So um, this book, um, I didn't really like because of the way it was written, like I said. Uh, there's a couple books that I have read that are just fantastic. Um, one of the author that I really like when it comes to animal um, books is James Harriet, and he does. Um, he's a veterinarian, and he does a series where he talks about. Um, going on farms and tending to the animals and things like that. So, I think I like those better than this one. But, I hadn't ever read this author before, so, um, there you have it. This is A Good Horse by Jane Smiley. If you guys want to check it out, I will put a link down in the description below and see where... Um, you can purchase it, or the library would have it. Um, it could be on Kindle. I know I've said in previous videos, excuse me, that um, people prefer like the Kindle version, or it would be easier for them. Um, but sometimes these books do not have a version for Kindle itself. So, sometimes you got you just got to read the actual book. And, yeah. So, that's our book review. And, I hope you learned something. Oh, and this, this particular author also has a book called A Thousand Acres. It says so here on the title. See? So, um... If you guys are really into that author, you can check that out. Um, if you're new to this channel and you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Keep reading, don't stop believing, and we will see you again soon. Goodbye!